Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I didn't focus. This is actually a good Tuesday morning. It has been so cold lately, but it was okay. It's about like 45 degrees this morning. But I am headed to campus right now. I have um, one class later this morning, like around 10.30. But I'm just going to get there a little bit early and do some studying. And then today we have hospital day, which is why I have my white coat lunchbox right here. Um, so yeah, we go to the hospital later today for a few hours and see some patients. So today should be a pretty good and short day. So let me head to campus now. Oh, by the way, I did a poll before I left for um, Christmas break on my channel um, asking what kind of content you guys would like to see in the new year. And I got a lot of feedback. So yeah, I'll be working on those videos, um, you know, in the coming months. I noticed a lot of people were interested in like how do you pay for medical school as far as scholarships out there, loans out there. So I will be making that video. It's just going to take a little time. If you haven't left a comment, um, it's on like the community tab on my page. So I am now in the library. I'm about to do some U World questions and I'm going to do one section of the first aid. <laughs> So pretty much what we're doing is um, we each get a patient and we're doing like a full history and physical exam and then we have to present that patient to the attending and then <laughs> hey Martin <laughs> and then um, we have to what, what was I saying we have to present that patient to the attending and then we have to write up a note so that's pretty much everything that you saw when um, looking at the patient and so this is pretty much going to get us ready for like third year when we're doing clinicals and um, rotating and seeing patients so it should, should be pretty good practice and experience hospital it went pretty good we were supposed to see two patients we ended up seeing one because one got discharged by the time we got there so we just went in we took a history of the patient we did a physical um this particular patient had lupus and then after we were done we went to our attending i was with three of my other classmates so we did we had to do the physical and the history together and kind of split it up I know that can be like annoying for patients, like having all these students coming in, you know, asking different questions, each doing different parts of the physical, but this patient was really nice about it. And um, she, you know, gave us a lot of uh, information as far as her history. She was really talkative, so that was good. So we presented to the attending, so we have to do an oral presentation. So like, for example, um, you would say, 
Jane Doe is a 32 year old African American woman who presents with like leg swelling um, and then you come that's her chief complaint and then you go down like her past medical history family history social history things like that and so the attending was just pretty much giving each of us feedback on how we should be presenting what type of questions we should be asking um, how to present the physical findings and things like that these are all things we're going to be doing in third year so it really gets us prepared for that and we're going to be doing this one day one day a week up until spring break so like um up until march we go to the hospital one day a week and do this so as the weeks go on i'm sure we're going to get you know better and better at doing um the history physical and presenting and today it was kind of it took some time because she really had to like do a lot of corrections for us and then we also have to do a write-up um, of the case. So we have one week to do the write-up. So yeah, that's that. I'm about to get it some studying. Um, new semester starting. At the end of the semester, we take uh, step one. That's the board exam that you take. Um, it's like a huge exam that you take in medical school. Kind of determines, you know, what kind of residency you can, uh, you know, apply to. Um, as far as like more competitive ones, less competitive ones, um, specific programs, things like that. So that's a really big exam that all second year medical students take. And I'm taking mine in June. And step one pretty much consists of all the material you learned in first year and second year with the emphasis on second year material. Like there's a lot of pathology, pathophys, pharmacology, you know, micro, which are things that we're learning in second year so it's important that you know you're really building a foundation through second year and learning everything now because obviously you can't wait until your dedicated study time to try to learn all this stuff you know it's you're studying first step throughout you know and i've gotten a few questions about like my plans my like step study plans that i have a schedule made and all of that and i said i was really going to start in january like studying more actively studying and yep, January's here. <laughs> so I have started like doing um, U World questions. So I'm gonna do like 10 a day and of course like increase it um, as the semester moves along. That Q Bank has like 2,500 questions. So I'm gonna get through, I'm gonna break it down so that I'll get through all of those questions by the time like my dedicated study time comes. And when I mean by dedicated, that means when classes end, you have like the four to six weeks to just study for step one and no like other obligations like class or anything like that. So I'm gonna finish that Q bag by the time that starts. And then yeah, outside of that, it's just, you know, using the resources I have, like getting through first aid, getting through um, pathoma. I know I made a video um, mentioning some other resources I was using when second year first started. But my main ones now are just like pathoma, first aid, sketchy. And then there's two different like video uh, sources I use. One is called DIT, Doctors in Training, and one is called Boards and Beyond, which I really love. I like both of them, but Boards and Beyond is really good. So check both of those out um, if you're not familiar with them. <coughs> and if I sound congested, it's because I'm getting over a really bad cold. <laughs> I had this cold for like a week and a half, but I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. But yeah, I'm about to start some studying. Need to do the farm lecture from today. Um, pathophys lecture. Right now, we're doing like two organ systems at a time. It's kind of weird. Um, for pathology, we're on heme. Uh, we're on heme right now. And then for pathophys, we're on pulmonary. And then um, farm, we're doing like uh, chemo drugs. It's all over the place. Let me just get some studying. I'm rocking the bonnet right now. <laughs> I'm going to sleep early. It's only like past 10 o'clock. I am just so tired. So, good night, guys. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.